The Essential Education Projector Range from Hitachi sponsors ICT programs. Helen Hardy is a Year 4 teacher in Plymouth. To enliven her weekly science investigations, Helen's incorporated a wide variety of uses of ICT into her lessons to introduce and illustrate each challenge. Mrs. Hardy's got a problem. Mrs. Hardy, have you drunk a cup of tea today? No, I haven't. It's probably still on the side. It's probably cold by now. In her last science lesson, some of her pupils made a film to set up the challenge for this week's science investigation. Mrs. Hardy, it's gone cold. You can't drink it now. That's nothing new, is it? I said I normally drink it when it's cold. Mrs. Hardy, is there any way that we could keep your cup of tea warm? To begin this week's investigation, she plays back the film, establishing the question. How are you going to keep my cup of tea warm so that I don't keep drinking cold cups of tea? Not nice. Put it on the radiator. OK, we could put it on the radiator. OK, who's got another idea? Put it in a warm place. That's a good idea, yes. A bit like our radiator, put it in a warm place. Jack, what was your idea? Put a tea cosy on top of it. There's a tea cosy on top of it. What's a tea cosy going to remind you of? What does it act like? Hannah? A thermal insulator. Girl, a thermal insulator. What could we use then to act like our tea cosy or our thermal insulator? Right? And what question could we come up with? Abigail. When we change the material of the thermal insulator, what will happen to the temperature of the cup of tea? OK, there's our question. That's what we're going to be investigating today. For the next stage of the lesson, each group has a set of planning sheets. The pupils discuss what they could change to affect the temperature and what factors all the groups must keep the same in order to make it a fair test. One group plans their investigation on a laptop. Type, type of... Type of... The groups must then turn their rough ideas into a clear plan. What I'd like you to do now, right, is to take these and put them into our planning frame. So, when we change, what are we going to change? We're going to change the... Material of the thermal insulator. The material of the thermal insulator. On the laptop, rough ideas are easily transferred onto the final plan. What we're going to do is we're going to drag all those onto our planning sheet. There. Helen can display the laptop group's work on the interactive whiteboard for discussion with the class. Now we're going to have a look and see if your fair test agrees with the fair test that we have here. So this group who were working on our laptop said, we're going to change the type of material. <coughs> Do you all agree? Yeah. We're going to measure the temperature of the tea. Do you all agree? Yeah. Okay. All right. Who'd like to come and find out what materials we are going to use? Who's going to come and reveal the materials today? Let's have Jack. Right. Come and pull the materials out that we are going to use as our thermal insulators today. No insulation. We need to see what's going to happen to our tea without any insulation. OK, what else have we got, Jack? OK, bring it right over here. Bubble wrap. The children really enjoy using the whiteboard, you know, the ability to be able to write on it, to be able to erase um, questions or to pull things out of boxes. Um, you know, something that it means that they're active in the lesson. They're not just having something done to them. They're actually taking part in how the lesson progresses. 
So these are the three materials that we're going to use. Tin foil, newspaper and bubble wrap. Make a prediction. What do you think will happen? Right. Which of these materials, if any, do you think is going to keep my tea from going cold? Each group makes a prediction as to which material it thinks will work best. As a group, then, I'd like you to come up with a consensus. I predicted that the bubble wrap would work. Yes, I'm going to keep it warm. What do you girls think then? We think the bubble wrap. You think the bubble wrap? Who thinks the bubble wrap then? What is our consensus on this? So we've got three for bubble wrap. We think the bubble wrap will um, work the best because um, it's warmer than tin foil and newspaper. Helen collects all the group's predictions and writes them on the board. Right. Now let's look then. So we have one, two, three groups for bubble wrap and two for tin foil. Okay. So as a class then, we're going to predict that the bubble wrap will keep the tea warmest. Using a digital video camera, one group films its discussion on how it will conduct the investigation. What you're going to do, you're going to put the tin foil in, uh, wrap it round the mug, put the thermometer in. Once completed, Helen uses this to discuss methodology with the rest of the class. Right, now this group, right, they've used the camera this morning to record their ideas. We're going to have a look and see if they got the same sort of ideas. Right, so we're going to watch some of the video that they've recorded. Put the thermometer in and read it every, every five minutes. Following this discussion, the pupils decide to record the temperature at five minute intervals. Okay. Of the three groups, each uses one of the thermal insulators, newspaper, tin foil or bubble wrap. So could you show them how to wrap their cup? We did that. That's how we do it. A fourth group has the control mug with no insulation. Do you need something to pass? These four groups will use thermometers and stopwatches to monitor temperature change over time. What do we do when things are on the red mat? <laughs> okay. Then it's tea time. How do you do it? There's a fifth group using a slightly more sophisticated method to test all three materials and the control. This group are going to use a data logger to measure the temperature of the tea in each of the four cups. Um, this way, by using the data logger, they can actually see immediately how the temperature is, is dropping, hopefully. And also they can see immediately the difference between the four insulating materials. So we're going to log every five minutes. We're going to change this to five minutes. Five minutes. And we're going to log it over 30 minutes. Somebody type 30 for me. Using the ICT in the lesson makes them much more active learners. They're actually um, filming what they're doing. They're actually using the data logger to take temperature readings. Um, they're recording it, presenting it immediately. They're much more active in what they're doing. We've already set up our interval and our duration now, right? We can tell everybody else that we're ready to start, so they need to be ready to start, okay? Now. And off they go. It's important they record the initial temperature. Temperature to start is 55 degrees. Five minutes have passed, and it's time to take the first reading. Record your temperature now. After five minutes, the temperature is 52 degrees. Five minutes have passed and it's 50 degrees Celsius. The data logger is up and running. Connected via the laptop to the interactive whiteboard, the data can immediately be displayed for the group to look at. Yeah, it might be, because they haven't really changed, have they? 
While waiting for the next reading, the pupils take photographs of their equipment using a digital camera. Helen can easily load these onto the computer and print them out for the pupils to stick in their books. Annotating the photo gives them a clear, eye-catching record of their work. Children enjoy using a camera. They, they like the idea of not having to write all the time. They li like the idea of, of having pictures which they can then use to present their work. This is the data logger and um, these are the materials on the cups that we're using to see which material keeps it hot the most. 25 seconds till the next reading. It's about time for the groups to take their last reading. Zero minutes was 52 degrees. Uh, later on, 30 minutes was 32, 38 degrees. OK, so we've finished recording the temperatures of the tea in our different insulated cups this afternoon. With all the readings taken, Helen uses a graphing package to visually represent their findings on the interactive whiteboard. We're going to call it drop-in temperature. We've got an x-axis, which is this axis, which is measuring the time in every five minutes. And here, this is the sensor temperature. What I'd like the sensor group to do is to come and put in the data. The pupils enter their data into the laptop, which is then displayed on the whiteboard. Jack, what was it for no installation at 15 minutes? 50. 50. At 20 minutes. Molly? 45.9. 45.9. They enter the rest of their data into the programme. And the final reading? 37.5. As they type in the data, it affects the shape of the graph on the whiteboard. Can you see what's happening to our graph? Can you see what's happening? What can you see has happened already? What's happened already? Jessica? It's getting lower. It's getting lower. The temperature is dropping. The interactive whiteboard allows the children to see immediately things that happen, the children can see the graphs in front of them. You try doing that with a paper flip chart, you don't get the same response or the same impact. It's nearly the end of the investigation. The final thing the pupils need to do is examine their results to answer their question. Which material is the best thermal insulator? Which of these is the hottest temperature? The newspaper. Right. What was the temperature of the newspaper? OK, so using the sensors, the temperature was 41.7. So the material best at keeping my cup of tea warm is going to be what? Which material is going to be best, Sam? Newspaper. OK, I've always wondered whether why fish and chip shops always wrap fish and chips in newspaper? Is it because they think it keeps it warmer? It's a thought. With the investigation complete, what will the pupils do with their newfound knowledge? After our investigation, this could keep your cup of tea warm. Oh, thank you, Abigail. That's just what I need. That's our conclusion. Essential Education Projectors from Hitachi sponsor ICT programs.